gpottyparts.com isn't the actual seller so they like the third party seller you know what i'm saying so, so i can unbox it but yeah that's the whole piece so it come with the brake release button already hole cut out forgive me if i leave you i'm just doing what my heart said i'm not who i used to be no more now i move cautious what's up guys it's your boy deuce back with another video now before we get started i need y'all do me a favor like this video hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you new turn that post notification bell to order where y'all be notified time i drop y'all won't miss a video y'all stay in rotation and i also need y'all to also follow my instagram it should pop up on the screen follow my instagram you feel me i finally got my instagram back i had deactivated it months ago because you feel me it's so much stuff going on you feel me i just said forget i'm gonna let my instagram go for now so i finally got it back you feel me it took me forever to log back in but i got my instagram back y'all follow my instagram it's at o one deuce so follow my instagram you feel me um this video is obviously my car is pretty packed out you feel me i got no room so i'm gonna be cleaning out my car off camera but this video is about y'all can see this huge box in here huge box my dash cover finally came in i opened it to look at it make sure everything was in there you feel me make sure you feel me? None, none was missing and none is missing so this video we're gonna be unboxing it fully taking it out the plastic all that stuff and we're gonna see what it look like you feel me um it's just a dash cover it's not the actual dash and y'all know we spent a pretty penny on this but we needed to get it and it, i feel like it's gonna be worth it in, in the end you know what i'm saying so we're gonna be unboxing this seeing and what seeing what it looks like and i'm gonna take these wheels out of my car I, like i told y'all before i've been trying to find my last stock wheel can't find it for nothing so i'm just gonna give up on that for now and if it pops up then it pop up and i'll throw them on but i'll be taking these out putting these in in my shed you know what i'm saying have them put up so yeah we're gonna take the stock wheels out that's in the back seat we're gonna take these out of the car so i can put that box this huge big old box right here this huge big old box we're gonna take that out and we're gonna put it in the back seat and let that rock out back there and then my other boxes you feel me we'll stack that up however but as y'all can tell all these boxes in here are for the excuse me for the cutlass so we got one two three four and then this huge one five so all these is literally parts for the cutlass and just waiting to get my car back you know what i'm saying it's been a little over a month since i dropped the car off i said about a month and a week so about a month and seven days since i dropped the car off and I'm not gonna lie to y'all the car ain't been touched i ride by the shop every day because it's the way for me to get to the other crib where my box chevy is so I literally see the see the car every day and the car's just been sitting in the same spot. So car ain't been touched, but it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Can't rush nobody on and they working on something for me, so I can't rush them, you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Whenever the car get ready and whenever we get the car back, then we're gonna be installing some parts. So y'all gonna be flooded with cutlass videos again. Cause um trying to move forward with this car you feel me get as close as possible by summertime that way by summer i could try to get it painted so we're gonna work as much as we can and then get as far as we can and ahead as we can but until then i'm gonna keep ordering the little parts that i need and i'm gonna keep you feel me just recording whatever i really want to right now you know what i'm saying i'm trying to grow this channel from not only being known as a car channel but just being a content channel in general that y'all can come to and enjoy videos you know what i'm saying enjoy enjoy my company i should say so yeah i'm finna get out finna take these wheels out clean out the car a little bit then we're gonna unbox this this big box and we're gonna see what we working with see what we got so i hope y'all ready see what we see what the dash look like i know a lot of people was wondering what it actually looked like so i was wondering myself so we finna figure out what it's gonna look like and see how it's gonna look and then we're gonna go from there so y'all stay tuned all right guys so i got the dash out now one thing i have just no noticed i don't know what i was saying but one thing i just noticed is gbodyparts.com isn't the actual seller so they like the third party seller you know what i'm saying so 
really this is where they got it from and I was wondering why I kept getting emails from this company Palco Industries so that's where they really get the dash cover from and stuff you know what I'm saying but let me show you this is how big the box is which is understandable because you feel me it's a whole dash but yeah we're gonna be unboxing this real quick and yeah I'm basically just show show y'all what it looks like give y'all my give y'all my opinion and yeah we're gonna see we're gonna see like, yeah we're just gonna see how everything looks so let me put y'all y'all in here you know what actually I'm gonna move y'all over here yeah have y'all there now this box ain't heavy at all it's actually very very light okay so this is the piece that go around the cluster part let me undo this and if I'm being honest, this material already feels like my door panel material. The door panels that I just ordered. Or got actually. So yeah, this is very flimsy. As y'all can see. But it's just a dash cover, so that's really what to expect. Now I don't understand if I'm supposed to because I don't see any screw holes in here. As y'all see this. The screw holes are gone so i'm guessing this just covers it up but yeah this is the part that goes around the cluster area pretty dope and i think i'm gonna just paint it because i don't know any material to wrap it in and for one i don't know how to wrap it so yeah this is the part that goes around the cluster i'm gonna sit this down and here goes the big boy Now this doesn't, none of this stuff comes with hardware or nothing, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's it. So, yeah, we go to, is it that piece of glue? Yeah, so this come with silicone too, so I'm guessing so the dash won't come back off. Let me go ahead and undo this bag. cut out the speaker hole cut out but it don't come with the new speaker tops which is one thing I actually did need because as y'all know my speaker tops had what they were cracking from drum riding but it'd be alright if I could find some more I'll just get some but yeah this material it feels really really thin y'all really thin and as y'all see it don't come with the glove box part so i'm gonna have to paint my glove box but that's the piece it comes with let me pull y'all off now I just needed y'all there so I could unbox it, but yeah, that's the whole piece. So it come with the brake release button already hole cut out. Then this goes around the steering wheel part and y'all seen that's my part for my cluster, which is this one. So this will go like that. Just like that. Got the radio part right there. And yeah, like I said, I'm gonna have to paint the glove box, but other than that, it should fit easily. Now, the good thing about this, I don't have to take my dash out. All I gotta do is just put this right on top. But as y'all can see, we got the air vents out and the speaker holes out. So I think I'm gonna have to get new speaker tops 
and like I said this is very thin look at that this is very thin material so which I, I'm guessing just because it's a dash cover it's supposed to be like that but yeah for now I'm not gonna paint it because I'm gonna wait till I drop this video and get y'all opinions on what I should do to get the right blue that I want to put on her too bad I'm not doing black and white on the interior I could have left this black but it is what it is you know what I'm saying I'm trying to do a little bit more customizations to the car and trying to do it ourselves so yeah if I'm a, like I said, I'm gonna wait till I drop this video get y'all opinions if y'all think I should just go ahead and spray the paint and just don't do a clear coat or what because for now I don't know what to do but this is it in one frame let me get another picture of it for my thumbnail. All right. I'm sorry. I'm taking my cousin back. Him, him and his, him and his girl are about to have a baby. So I'm just making sure everything going good. But yeah, y'all just look at it real quick and let me know what y'all think. So like I was saying, this is really thin, but y'all know this is, this is just the cover. So yeah, it's just gonna go right on top. Now I don't know what's supposed to go here. Maybe I'm supposed to get like a Oldsmobile logo or something, Cutlass logo or something to put there. Or maybe I can just get something custom printed out and put my name there or my YouTube name, you feel me? So yeah, honestly, I like this. I'm glad I got it because you know what I'm saying I needed a dash because my dash was cracking and this is a cover hopefully this don't crack easily but the radio holder I, don't, I, I, I just think this is gonna be dope you feel me it's gonna look really good especially once we paint it you know what I'm saying and we get it inside the car now another thing I did notice is under the under the steering rack part I'm gonna have to paint the original piece that's there as well Cause it ain't it ain't one here and it ain't no glove box so them two i'm gonna I'm have to paint this already on the dash which the glove box comes out it's just four screws at the bottom it should just be them four screws and this one it might be just two screws at the bottom you know what i'm saying so and then i'm gonna have to paint the steering rack or the steering wheel holder or whatever you want to call it you know what I'm, saying? I'm gonna have to paint that as well what else what else that's on the car already i'm gonna have to paint oh no once we get this on the car then we'll see what's showing and what's not showing you know what i'm saying hopefully nothing shows to where i won't have to remove that whole dash and paint it and then throw it back in then throw this in you know what i'm saying maybe i do like the secondary color white on the original dash but hopefully nothing shows to where all i gotta do is just throw this straight in now i'm gonna have to order another one of them wood grain pieces that go there because mine is faded so that's one, one thing I got to order. I got to order my center console, the part that goes like right here. I'm going to have to order the, the box part, the top part of the center console as well. I'm going to have to paint my center console. Mm, and I'm going to have to order them little clips that go in the back of the, the wood grain radio holder. So I'm going to have to order that as well. But on the net, man, we got we got the dash and it finally came in and I'm happy it came in. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, this is a dub. And like I said, once we get the car back, I'm going to throw this in the car without painting it first and see what's showing and what's not showing. Then I'm going to rock out with it in there for now. If it's if nothing's showing, I'm going to just leave this how it is for now. And then if something's showing, then we're going to figure out what we need to paint. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we got everything in. We got the dash cover everything that i've ordered so far has is, is came in so yeah y'all stay tuned because i got a couple couple vlogs i'm gonna be doing later on nothing with the cars gonna be off cars without cars you know what i'm saying not, not record nothing with the cars but yeah man this is the dash cover you know what i'm saying y'all let me know what y'all think about it and if y'all was thinking about getting it i really don't know it to tell you to get it or not until i get my car back and i can throw it in the car and then we'll see what's showing and what's not showing and we can go from there you know what i'm saying but yeah this is the dash cover the full in depth little walk around all i like it honestly you feel me i think it's a 
it's a good little buy. I mean, it's kind of expensive, but you know what I'm saying? This, this car stuff ain't cheap anyways, which is one thing I had to learn when I got into it. But yeah, it looks good. And once we paint it, we'll see how it really looks or wrap it, whatever, whatever y'all tell me I need to do. Like I said, I don't know how to wrap, so that's gonna be the only problem. And I told you, I'm trying to customize this entire car. Well, I'm trying to do just about everything myself. Not even just to save money, but just to teach myself. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, this is the dash cover. And I'm gonna put this up, put it back in the car. Cause we waiting on the cutlass to get back. But, like I said, in my opinion, I like it. And I won't know what to rate it until I can get it into the car. So once I'm able to get into the car, then we'll rate it and go from there. So, yeah, that's the dash cover. If y'all thinking about getting one, it took like two weeks to come in, which is fine. You know what I'm saying? But my opinion, I like it. And like I said, I can't rate it until I get the car back. So I will catch y'all in one second for the outro. I'm going to clean up all this, put everything back up, put it back in the box. And yeah, catch y'all in a second for the outro. All right, y'all. So that's going to be the end of this one. As y'all can see, I got all my wheels out. And I got nothing but boxes back there. Now, this big box wouldn't fit all the way in the back seat, so I'm just going to leave it like this for now. I don't go anywhere, so you feel me? I don't really, it don't bother me that it's in here. I tried to put it in the box Chevy. It's too, too long for the box Chevy as well. It's just a box, though, you feel me? Just a box too big. But, yeah, all cutlass packages in here. And, yeah, like I said, it's going to be the end of this one, man. Make sure y'all hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn that post notification bell to all. That way y'all be notified every time I drop. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's free. It don't hurt you. Make sure y'all follow my Instagram at 01deuce. You feel me? I'm, I'm going to start posting on there again, hopefully soon. Mainly when, when I drop the, the paint, you feel me, for my cars, I'm going to throw on a little outfit. You know what I'm saying? Do something simple. Do a little photo shoot with the cars. You know what I'm saying? So... It's going to be something y'all can stay tuned for. So make sure y'all go follow my Instagram. And yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about the dash cover. Me personally, I like it and it wasn't cheap. It feel thin, but like I said, it wasn't cheap and I needed it. You know what I'm saying? So got us a new dash. Well, dash cover, I should say, since this ain't really fully a dash, you know. But yeah, we got that. And now once I get the car back, then we can do a install and then we'll see how it really looks. You know what I'm saying? Inside the car. But other than that, man, it's going to be the end of this one. I appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. If y'all got dreams and goals, my job is to try to motivate y'all to go after y'all dreams like y'all motivate me. So try to achieve your, try to chase your dream. And I don't want y'all to live with any regrets. So give it a chance. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all, man. It's going to be the end of this one. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.